weeks ago, CNBC rolled out its eighth annual Disruptor 50 list. It's a compendium of the most innovative startups on earth that are shaking up entire industries. These are often revolutionary companies that make their shareholders a lot of money when they eventually come public. Look at Lemonade, number 17 in this year's list, roaring after its IPO yesterday. Probably didn't even pay attention to it. There was money to be made. Ka-ching, ka-ching tonight. I want to check in with number 34 on the Disruptor 50 list. It's Appeal Sciences. You may remember them. They take left-behind plant materials like leaves or peels and blends. They make them into a kind of shield that you spray on fruits and vegetables. It keeps them from going bad. Double the shelf life of this stuff without refrigeration. Imagine how much waste this saves. Now that COVID-19 has shown just how precarious our nation's food supply is, I think Appeal's got a bright future. No wonder they were able to raise $250 million last month at a billion-plus valuation. But don't take it from me. Let's dig deeper with James Rogers, the founder and CEO of Appeal Sciences. Learn more about his company and where it's headed. Mr. Rogers, welcome back to Mad Money. Yeah, good to be here. All right, so Jimmy, last time we saw you, everything was pretty smooth. We just You go to the supermarket, there's food there, and Appeal does something that makes it last longer. We are now in a food crisis, and it is an unbelievable amount of fear just to go to the supermarket and we want food we can trust. What does Appeal do to make the food trust and last longer? Yeah, you, you know, Jim, uh, you know, we, we've been in a food crisis. You know, uh, food waste today is, is this invisible tax that's been imposed on our food system to the tune of $2.6 trillion annually. And by reducing that waste, we can free up all of that value back to everyone that participates in the food system, which is everyone that eats and so you know, at Appeal, we have found a way to use food to preserve food so that less food ends up in the garbage and we can uh, create you know, better value for our customers and better value for the planet. Well, we see companies that are very forward companies, companies like Kroger that I talk to all the time. They obviously are uh, they're the gold standard when it comes to grocery store, supermarket, and they've taken a liking to you guys. Yeah, Kroger, Kroger's been a, a tremendous partner for us. Um, you know, last time I was on the show, we talked about uh, the Kroger partnership. And you know, since then, we, we've now rolled out our product uh, in Europe as well with the largest grocers in, in Germany and Denmark. And, um, you know, we're, we're just getting started. OK, so why did Oprah and Katy Perry invest in Appeal? They, they see the same future we do um, with, with all this waste and, and you know, one in nine people going hungry. There's a massive opportunity to rebuild the food system on a foundation that's going to support more people and our planet. Now, uh, how about this new limes deal? I like this because I'm in the summer. I'm a huge lime guy. I want the limes to last longer. I don't. Uh, and like everything else, I feel like, well, I don't know. Is this new? Is it old? Uh, what can I do with it? Yeah. No, we're really excited. I mean, just last week, uh, we announced a partnership with uh, Wakefern and, and ShopRite stores up in the, the Northeast there. and uh, First product on, on shelves there um, with limes. But again, this is just the beginning. Last time we spoke, we introduced the product for avocados, now limes, organic apples, uh, mandarins, oranges, um, you know, more grocers, uh, more produce categories and, and more shoppers. Now, what happens to food that's that, – what can we do with food that's wasted now in a time when there's giant food lines in this country? Tell us – tell if you, if you were in charge of the food supply system, how would you change it? Yeah, you know, what we need is more time. You know, the food system today is stretched to its max. And in the time of COVID, we see that if anything on the supply side uh, is disrupted because of labor shortages – or on the demand side, changes because of you know, changing shopper frequency, the system snaps and it can't accommodate it. So at Appeal, we're focused on building the food system on a foundation that's going to be able to support more people and our planet. And the belief is that the orange has the perfect wrapper already. We don't need to go into a lab and create a, a new solution. We can look to the orange, draw inspiration from that, and use those same materials to help you know, teach those tricks to things like cucumbers and, and strawberries. Well, James, this is as you expand, uh, obviously, your valuation goes up. You just did a big round. Um, how does that work? I mean, what you did, you need the money. Are you going to take the money to grow internationally or is it just a stepping stone to uh, like a lot of the companies that are coming coming public now that people really like? Yeah, we, we need the money to, to keep up with the demand from our customers. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. Right. And where, do you have a, a factory where you do this stuff? Do you have plants that you uh, are you are you right on site with farmers? 
Yeah, we are. We, we have offices in, in California, Mexico, Peru, the Netherlands, Spain, opening up an office in, in South Africa, all to support uh, the supply base that, that feeds us every single day. Um, and I see, I still see wax on my fruit. Uh, why do they do that? And is that it? Is that good for me? You, you know, monks figured out in the Middle Ages that you could put beeswax on an apple and it would last a little bit longer. But if you go into a, a store today and you get an organic apple, it's still got beeswax. And so uh, Peel comes in and says, you know what, let's use food to solve this problem in a way that dramatically reduces waste. You know, our, our, our partners realize 50% waste reduction in their stores and double digit sales growth as a result. So in other words, you got it, uh, Kroger was actually do a, was able to do a return on investment on appeal that actually can over time generate a significant earnings per share gain. That's, that's right. You know, again, th this, this food waste issue is a $2.6 trillion issue globally. Well, well Jim, but, but, but let me ask you one last question. Why, why isn't Walmart a customer? They're the largest grocer. I mean, I go to their stores, they can use you. This issue goes far beyond retail. The, the, the system that's supporting our food system today, um, there's a way to add benefit for everyone if we can give people more time. All right, that's what we want. And I think you're one of the good guys doing good things for the planet. I'm glad I talked to a disruptor who's disrupting bad and replacing it with good. That's James Rogers, CEO of Appeal. Thank you so much, sir. Mad Money will be back here for the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.